Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video. So today I'm sharing a summer clothing haul. I had one of my followers on Instagram ask me to do a video like this and it's been it's been about two years since I've shared a clothing haul, so I'm excited to show you guys what I got. I went to, well I didn't go to, I ordered from Hollister.com, Target.com, and Lulu's.com. I did get two hats from Amazon and I said on Instagram that I would try on the clothing also, but I don't think I'm going to try everything on, just a few things. I'm probably going to film the try on part later when the sun is actually hitting in my room. Right now I'm using my lighting kits, which I don't really like to do because it makes it look I don't know, I feel like it makes it look weird. You guys let me know what you think. But um, I'll wait until the sun is actually hitting in my room so those shots look a lot better. Just a disclaimer before I get started with the haul, I am going to be showing underwear and bras, undergarments. that they're, they're unworn, but just a disclaimer, if you don't want to see that, then you might as well click away or skip over that part. Like I said, this is going to be a very girly, feminine haul, so I hope you guys like it. If you do, let me know and I'll make more like this. And with all that said, let's get started. So how I'm going to do it is by category and I'm going to tell you guys where everything is from. I'm not going to include prices because some of the price tags are off already. So I'm pretty sure they're still on the website. If you go check out any of these stores, you'll still be able to find them. There's a plane passing by. Excuse the plane passing by, but I picked up three pairs of shorts from Hollister. This, this pair. They're just high-rise shorts. These ones are a little bit um, snug on me. I probably should have got a size up. What size did I get? I got a size zero because my waist is small but um, my bum and legs are a little bit bigger, so I try to get something that will fit my waist so I don't have to wear a belt with them, but um, your girl's growing, so. <laughs> These are the second pair of shorts that I got. They're also, they're called Curvy High Rise Mom Shorts. <laughs> Just a dark wash, no zipper on these, they're just buttons, which I really like. These fit really nicely around my waist, and they're not as snug around my bum and legs. They're the same size, but just different fit. And they also they also have the fold and the raw hem at the bottom. These are the third ones that I got. Whoa, they look really blown out. They're a white and kind of like a denim color pinstripe. I have a couple of pair of shorts like this from Hollister that have the paper bag top and the little tie at the front. I really like shorts like this. They're so light and comfortable. Now we'll do tops. And most of my tops that are here are from Target, but a couple of them are from Hollister. This cute little tube top, it's a mint color. It looks a little bit blown out on camera, but it's a mint color and just a basic tube top. Very stretchy. I should have gotten more. There was a coral one and I think a yellow one also, but these are just good to throw on. They're not as short as they look in like my hands. They cover a good amount, so they're not like the really, it's not like a bandeau, it, it does have some coverage. I'm really liking smocked this season, you guys. I have so many smocked things. Next I got this ribbed white off the shoulder ruffly tank top with a little tie at the front. Well, it's not a tank top, it's an off the shoulder top. And this is just one of those simple basics that I can wear with anything like jeans or shorts, maybe even a skirt, who knows, but I really like it. This top is so pretty. It's a yellow, smocked, kind of puffy sleeve. There's some white floral details in there. So pretty. I love this. This is also from Hollister. The last two things I showed you were from Hollister. And now we're getting into Target another very girly ruffly top <laughs> i love this it's a linen material and it's smocked at the back it's a crop top i really like these ruffle sleeves so girly and the color is adorable i love this so much i cannot wait to wear this and you guessed it another girly ruffly top that's smocked at the back i think it's smocked at the front yeah has these cute iridescent buttons on the front such a pretty color. I love this so much. It's also a crop top. It has a little keyhole in the middle and a tie right here. So cute. Love this. And Florida stays hot until about December, so I'll have plenty of time to wear all of these. I'm not sure where I'm going yet, but hmm, I'll probably just still take pictures for the gram. <laughs> this one is probably one of my favorite tops. I just love this color orange on me, or this is like a corally color. It has little eyelets also smocked at the back very puffy sleeves I love this color and this fit 
um, it's cropped of course I'm probably mo I'm most likely going to wear this with some high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts so girly and feminine it's like this linen material really like it you guys should check Target if you're looking for some tops like this they have so many of them this looks really blown out but um, hopefully when I have better lighting in the clips that I'm gonna use as cutaways you guys can see that it's like it's a um, I don't know if I would call this lime green but it's more of like a pastel lime green and it also has these eyelet cutouts it's a linen it's a crop top it's smocked in the back and very girly and flattering I just love this top the color I have a pair of sandals that will go so nicely with this actually any pair of sandals can go well with this and second to last thing I got was just this basic uh, boat neck quarter sleeve top this I can wear with a skirt or jeans it's just something a little bit more relaxed fit versus the um, more fitted and cropped things that I wear. This is like the only thing that I got that's not cropped. Oh, and I also got a pink tank top. This is actually the last top that I got. It's not cropped, it's not ruffly and smocked and girly. It's just a basic pink tank top. So now we're moving on to skirts. And normally I wouldn't buy skirts like this, but when I saw them online, they look so pretty and I felt like I could probably pull this off I'm short, so it's strange for me to wear long skirts like this. It'll make me look even shorter, maybe. Or I can wear this. Type. This is from Target, by the way. I could wear this with a cute, like, low sandal heel. This is a high-waisted skirt. It comes with a tie belt that you can tie around your waist, and it's buttons all the way down. I just thought this was so pretty. It flares out so girly, and oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this. I don't know where I'm going to wear it yet, but... It's super cute and it's something that I normally wouldn't wear so hopefully it looks good. Then next I picked up this beautiful fuchsia, is this fuchsia? What color is this? This is like, this is like a berry color I think. It's like a berry fuchsia type of color. It's a light, um, what would I call this material? It's a very light material, it's pleated. It kind of looks like a skirt that I saw one of my favorite YouTubers wearing, Anna Bay. She's one of my favorite YouTubers, but I think hers was silk and much more expensive. But it's similar to it, and I'll probably wear this with that um, white boat neck top that I showed you with the three-quarter sleeves with maybe a nice uh, nude sandal, a nude heeled sandal, or a white nude, or a white nude, <laughs> or a white sandal. Now, back over to Hollister. This is also something that I would normally never get for myself. Back in the 90s, it's definitely something I would wear. But I just thought it was so cute and fun, and I could pair it with different um, tops and shoes. So I got it. It's a denim, a denim. It's a denim mini dress. Let me back up a little bit so you guys can see better. It's a complete stretchy denim dress. It's really good quality. This is from Hollister and they're like known for their denim. It has a zip at the back. I love this belt at the front. I did try this one on and it fits so good. Oh my goodness. I don't have to wear a bra with this. It holds me in where I need it to. I can definitely also wear this in the fall with some boots and a turtleneck underneath. I think it will look so cute with this. I'm obsessed with this little denim dress, which is something I normally would not pick up for myself, but I cannot wait to wear it. This is the last thing for actual clothing. I picked up these cute medium wash overalls. They're shorts. I've been looking for a pair of overalls like this with shorts for so long. I found these on Hollister.com. They are so adorable, and what I like about them is, you know what, you know when you wear overalls, the sides sometimes have a gap in there? Not with these. These ones go all the way up as if they're just high-waisted shorts, and I can fold the top part down without them falling down, or you can't see anything um, on the inside. What I, You can't see my body on the inside through gaps, so I really like this pair of overalls. They're so adorable. I'm definitely going to put these on after I'm done filming this video. And I did get two swimsuits. You guys remember that yellow marigold or was it saffron? It's like a marigold colored swimsuit that I got from Target a while back when I was going to do my 30 day fitness challenge. That didn't fit me. I got extra small bottoms and they did not fit. And I think I got a small top and it just, it didn't fit me. So now I'm a medium top and a small bottom. And I picked up two swimsuits from Hollister. This first one, I love this bright neon green color on me it looks really blown out on camera but it is a super let me see maybe if i hold it closer let me turn the brightness down so you guys can see what it really looks like there we go 
This is a very loud, bright, neon green swimsuit. This is from Hollister. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I can't remember if I said it or not. But these are some cheeky swim bottoms. And then I also got the swimsuit top. I like swimsuits that don't have padding on the inside. And if they do, I just take them out anyways because, I don't know, it just feels weird, especially after you get into the pool. So, yeah, this one does have some support. There is a wire in it, and I've already tried this swimsuit on. It's so flattering. I cannot wait to wear this. We don't have a pool, and I'm not planning on going to the pool, but maybe the beach. I don't know. We'll see. This is the second one that I got. It's a yellow with that dusty pink and blues. Just really cute and girly. This one does have padding on the inside, but I'll remove it when I am going to wear it. If I do wear it, who knows? And these are the bottoms. So cute with that ruffle and a little ruching at the back. Very cute. These are also cheeky bottoms. I like the cheeky fit the most. I feel like it's the most flattering, even though it shows a little bit more. It's not a whole G-string, but I think it's so cute and tasteful and, you know, girly. Then from Amazon, I picked up this adorable tie-dye bucket hat. It's black on the inside. I was kind of disappointed about that, but it is so cute. I love this hat so much. As soon as Sultan saw it, she's like, that's my hat, right? <laughs> They've been wearing it since then. And this one, you guys saw on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I picked up this huge sun hat from Amazon. I think it was around $25, which is way less than like 60 to 70 that I saw on other websites. So if you're looking for a really big hat like this, definitely check Amazon. This is the most exciting thing that I got in this entire haul. This adorable, like what do I even call this? It's like a hard type of woven basket. You guys know I love the baskets that look like this. I have some in the background right there. They're not exactly like this. Um, they're not exactly this texture, but very similar and similar in color. This is so adorable. I could, this is my favorite purse right now. Look at that. Look at how it opens and closes. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. I got this from Target.com. I cannot wait to use this. This is going to be my go-to summer bag. It, I don't have to worry about it getting dirty or, you know, getting scratched like my other leather purses. I cannot wait to wear this. This is my favorite thing that I got from the entire haul. It wasn't very expensive either. I did see some on Amazon similar to this, very similar to this, that are about $10 to $15 less. So if you guys want a purse like this, definitely check Amazon. I got mine from Target. I didn't. I was shopping already on Target. I went to Amazon last, but I did see that they had some for cheaper, so... This is so cute. It's round. It is adorable. And Candace, when I sent her a picture of this, she's like, I was going to get that purse too. It's just, it's so cute for an everyday purse. Think of how many outfits this can go with. Like literally everything. So I'm really excited that I found this and I love it so much. Next, I got some sandals from Target. These neon pink ones with the skinny straps. These are so cute. I love them. Oh my gosh. I love anything that's neon, honestly, especially during the summer, like my nails. And I also got the neon yellow ones in the same um, style. These ones you guys saw already, I showed them. I think in my last cleaning video I showed these. These are from Lulu's. They're a dusty pink and then they have this like white gold threading around the sides. These are so cute. I did have to order a size smaller. I ordered them in a size 7. Hmm. What size did I order them in? Oh, I ordered them in a size seven and a half, and that's normally my sandal size, but I had to get a size seven because they were way too big. And then these ones are just a metallic, like white gold color. Very cute and just simple. You can wear these with anything. These were also, I got these also in a size seven and a half, and they were too small, so I had to get a size eight. I completely forgot to show you guys the earrings that I got from Target also. The ones missing here are the ones that I'm wearing in the video. I also picked up these butterfly clips. So cute. Some of them are half butterflies. And these eye earrings are so adorable. These earrings are a little bit more fancy than I'm used to, like those. And the butterfly ones. Not really the butterfly ones. Those are really delicate and cute. But these ones also... I love them, especially these ones. These are probably my favorites. And um, the eye ones are some of my favorites also. And what would a haul be without some pajamas? I love pajamas and especially pajama sets. 
This one is from Target. All of my pajama sets are from Target, actually. But this one is so cute. One of my friends on Instagram, I saw her. She made a video the other day, and she had this pattern on. And I was like, is that a Target uh, pajama? And she's like, it's the robe. I did not know that there was a robe that goes with this, but I will definitely be getting the robe. This is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I love this berry color that's in. These are, like, all the colors that I love. I can't wait to wear this. And... Of course, it comes with a cute pair of shorts. And I got this one. It's a softer material. It's very, very soft, actually. The first one is more like a linen one. And this one's just a, a very soft, light pink and like beige color. It also comes with the shorts. And I think I was watching, was it Paige Daniels' video? I think it was Paige Daniels' uh, morning routine I was watching the other day and she had these on. Love me some Target and I love pajamas. So when I went shopping for um, bras and underwear, I first went to Victoria's Secret because I knew I needed just three really good bras that I wouldn't have to change up all the time. My bust size has been fluctuating since I gained weight, so none of my bras fit me. I was spilling out of all of them, so I bought some new bras. And then underwear, same issue. A lot of my underwear were just too tight and not fitting me anymore. I needed a size up and I'm totally okay with that. I'm not complaining. I don't mind that I gain weight. I wanted to gain weight, but um, not in my stomach area. <laughs> While I was on Victoria's Secret, I did look at the underwear, but it's just so expensive compared to Target and Target has just as cute styles. So if you guys are looking for some cute, fun, girly underwear, definitely check Target. Victoria's Secret does have some cute ones also, but I feel like for the price, Target is a way better option. Another reason to get this berry color, I really like this. It has a soft cotton waistband, and they're just some completely uh, lacy boy shorts. I also got them in this that light lime green um, pastel color. I got some regular cotton thongs just for everyday wear. Well, if I need to. <laughs> Forgot where I left off because I had to change my memory card, but I did pick up some cute lacy a little bit more risque underwear <laughs> these are like a light lavender color and i got the same style in this jade color these ones have the just regular stretchy material in the front and then that cute lacy detail at the back they're this dusty jade color was that first one jade um, forget i said that these ones i think are the dusty jade ones i got this color this is kind of like a nude one for me but i really like the detail on this. Let me see if I can show you guys. Such a cute little detail on there. And I also got the same print in a berry color. And these are really soft and comfortable, by the way. And then these ones are just a bikini ones that are completely lace in this light lavender color. Then I got some basics. I picked up two of these because these are good for me to wear when I'm filming cleaning videos under my leggings. And they're this nude color, so you can't see them underneath. They're seamless, they're super soft and comfortable, so I got two of those. Again, I got this light uh, lime green pastel color. I don't know how to describe this, but this is also like a really, really soft material. Not cotton, but just like so soft, stretchy, and comfortable. And then I got them also in a berry color, tea back. And then lastly, I got these ones that are seamless at the front, and very soft, and then that cute lacy detail at the back. I'm kind of rushing because the kids are hot outside and Emir was just out there spraying Raid. I forgot to tell you guys about the Raid from my last vlog. Emir apparently was scooping up ants in a scoop and putting them right at the sliding door. And I did see that there was a bunch of dirt like right in the tracks there. But a lot of the ants got inside and we had ants for a good mm, four or five days. But the Raid definitely took care of that. Anyways, that was a side note. <laughs> So I did want to pick up some bras and bralettes to match the underwear that I got. So I picked up this. Uh, there's a certain term for this type of bra. I forgot what it is. It's like a, not a bralette. It's like a bra collet, something like that. But there's no padding or anything. It's just lace and underwire. This matches with the Dusty Jade underwear that I got. I don't think I got any underwear in this color, but similar to this, it's the same style just a different color and i will just wear those with that i like having matching sets <laughs> and this one is just a bralette this is more for like comfortable wear at home it has a little racer back cute material and it matches with one of the underwears that i got and then lastly i got this one which is just which is a light cream 
really really pretty details i feel like i could even wear this under a top and leave a little bit of it showing and it would look really nice it wouldn't look too um what should i say it wouldn't look too much <laughs> Okay, I lied. Some of this stuff I did wear, but it's just the bras. It's not the underwear. I feel like the underwear showing that I've already worn that would have been weird, but <laughs> bras not so much. So this is the bra that I got from Victoria's Secret. It does come, it's the pink line. It does come with straps, but like I said, I already wore this. And this is a really good strapless bra. I don't want to say the best because it's one of the only strapless bras that I've ever really um, invested in. These were about $50 each. But like I said, I really needed bras and only three. This one is the strapless. It does have some padding and it does act as a push-up bra. This one, I think I, I think this is the one that I used to wear when I worked at Hooters unless they changed the name. But it feels very similar to the Miraculous Plunge by, by Victoria's Secret. This one is a padded push-up. I like this one a lot. It doesn't make my boobs look too, too big. And then the other one that I got is the one that I'm wearing now. It is a unpadded, full coverage, um, regular bra that I also got from Victoria's Secret. So that's it for my summer clothing haul. I hope you guys liked it and got some ideas of where maybe you want to buy some things. Let me know, are you guys going back to normal where you live? Because here in Florida, I feel like we should go under lockdown again, which is how bad it's been getting. I did go to the mall the other day for the first time in a long time where I was actually around people. And then as soon as I left, I started to feel sick. Like my ears were itchy, really itchy. My my nose and then my throat started getting itchy and I was just like oh, I'm sick <laughs> I went to the doctor and found out that I had a sinus infection and they gave me antibiotics which gave me an upset stomach so I probably won't be going anywhere for a while <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video